Hello everybody, Dokana Sets here. We are back with another rant video. You guys enjoyed the Gamma 1 and 2 rant so much that I figured I would go ahead and do another rant video. We're going to be talking about Dragon Ball The Breakers today, but not just the video game. We're going to be talking more about the special edition and more importantly, the limited edition version of the game because of course we do figures on this channel and oh boy there is a little bit of shenanigans going on with this figure however I did want to take a little bit of time to talk about the game and give you a little bit of foresight before we get to this part of the video as well there's not really another part um, of the internet for me to talk about the rest of the shenanigans with this game so I'm just going to talk about it all in here and it'll give you a more better all-encompassing idea of what's going on with Dragon Ball the Breakers as well I do want to apologize if you are watching this video today there is no figure unboxing today unfortunately I've been having tech problems all night I'm also really angry right now so I guess it's the perfect time to film a rant video if I'm gonna do one um, because so many things have been going wrong tonight with the tech issues and one of my homies shout out to the boy DBZ world got demonetized tonight and other stuff going on that I am not in a good mood so I do not have the mental capacity or the energy to do the whole figure unboxing video edit it all and get it up tomorrow so I apologize but I was going to upload this video over the weekend anyway, so I figured this was just a perfect video for today to take this, um, you know, video's place for today. So let's go ahead and get into it before I really lose my marbles here. So, Dragon Ball of Breakers is a upcoming Switch, PS4, and Xbox One game. It's basically like a survival multiplayer game. Um, Think Dead by Daylight is essentially the type of gameplay that we have here. Um, and Dragon Ball The Breakers can be purchased in three different ways. So, funny enough, on the official Bandai website, they don't actually have the standard edition. Wow, Bandai. Great marketing on that point. <laughs> so... Let's take a look at the different editions that you can purchase. If we take a look at Steam, you can see that there is the normal version of Dragon Ball The Breakers for 20 USD. As well, if you would like to purchase the special edition, it is $30 USD. Now, thankfully, this is the same on every single one of the stores. As you can see on the PlayStation Store here, you can purchase the regular version of the game or the special edition. On the Microsoft Store, you can do the same, the special edition version of the game and the regular version of the game. For some reason, on the eShop website, all that comes up when you search Dragon Ball The Breakers is Let's Sing 2022. <laughs> Don't know what that's about, but I'm going to assume that it's the same on Nintendo Switch. If it's not, you can let me know in the comment section below, but that would only make sense considering everything here now what do you get in the special edition of dragon ball the breakers well i'm glad that you asked if we scroll down here and take a look at this image you can see that this is what is in the 30 dollars version of the game compared to the 20 dollars version you get the regular game the special edition pack which is a costume a victory pose and a vehicle skin and you also get the pre-order bonus, which is available in both the standard and the special editions, which is a Android 18, looks like skill type of item and a accessory for your player character. So you'll get both of these things in each of the special editions, the special edition and the limited one, but you'll only get this um, when you purchase the special edition. Ain't wrong. You'll see that in a moment here, but this is what you get for $10 more. Now, we obviously have this version of the game, which is $80. Wow, that is a big boy jump for a game that is normally a $20 price tag. What do we get in this beautiful version that costs $80? Well, as you can see here, this is everything that you get in the special edition of the game. You get the pre-order bonus, like we mentioned before. You get, if you buy it from the Bamco store, you get the Patara earrings green, which only if you buy it from the specific Bandai Namco website and not any other website. By the way, why you would lock Patara earrings behind a pre-order bonus when that's definitely an accessory that most people would want is beyond me. You obviously get the game, right? Which you get the special edition of the game because since you're getting the limited edition, it comes with the special edition pack of the game. 
Interestingly enough, uh, maybe this is only on the European store because obviously this is a Peggy rating here. You can actually get the PC digital version with the entire limited edition bundle. But if we're looking on the US Bandai store here, you can see that there is no listing for a PC version um, for the limited edition version of the game. Don't worry, we'll get to that. That's just a little teaser of the misclick of the mouse. So besides that, you also get a steelbook of the game. You get stickers, which look to be some of the art from the game, which by the way, the one thing I can give this game is that the art is fantastic. And above all else, the main show of today's video, the Cell Shell figure. Now, this is a 9 by 15 centimeter figure. It's not terribly big. And I suppose in regards to the context of Dragon Ball The Breakers, this figure makes sense to include in a special edition because Cell is one of the main villains and has also been featured in a lot of the promotional material in the opening cutscene for the game. You see Cell's shell, the one of the characters discover it and then Cell attacks that character, right? So I suppose in the context of the game, right, and it makes sense. But here's the reason why this is a rant video. Not only, before I get to the next point, is I don't think this package is worth $80 at all, right? So if we're taking into consideration this, right, the special edition of the game and these accessories, right, that means that they are valuing these items at $10 more, right, in the pre-order bonus in the special pack along with the game, and they are valuing the Cell Shell figure and the steelbook and the sticker at about 50 buckaroonies. Uh, we're gonna kind of exclude the Patara earrings because it's just earrings, right? And it's like the bonus, quote unquote. So that would mean that I would probably guess like the steelbook would be like 10 bucks, right? The stickers would be like five and then maybe the cell shell 35. I think that mental math works out there. So, this already seems like quite a bit for everything that you're getting in here. 80 bucks seems like a big ask for a couple of accessories and a cell shell figure. Now, the reason why I'm so mad about this, besides the price of this really not feeling like this is worth it, is if we take a look at this tweet right here. You can see this tweet is from October 8th, 2021. And along with the showing of the prototype of the original SH Figuarts Imperfect Cell, we had the first showing of the Cell Shell figure. Now again, this was at a convention last year in 2021, and this Cell Shell was on the same display as the SH Figuarts figures. Maybe you see where I'm going with this here. This figure was displayed on the same shelf. This display had a bunch of other figures on it. You can see it's obviously the same display as this cell is on here, right? And this is the close-up shot that we have from that convention, right? Now, SDCC, San Diego Comic-Con 2022, just came and went. Obviously, the figure news video from two weeks ago um, was about that. And we took a look at this website right here which of course had a bunch of the images from the convention, right? And at the SH Figure Arts booth, right, where they had all of the Cell Saga figures on display, you can see right next to the new version of the Imperfect Cell figure is the Cell Shell, that's right. So, here's my issue with this, right? This figure, has been shown at its original showing and even at SDCC right before the game's big limited edition pre-order bonus bundle was announced with the SH Figuarts figures. This implies to me that as someone who would be at this con or would be seeing pictures of this online, that this is going to be an SH Figure Arts figure. This is going to be in the SH Figure Arts line, right? In some capacity, right? Tamashi's gonna release this thing as a standalone figure or maybe bundled with some kind of cell, right? Obviously we, not, we know he's not with the Imperfect Cell because that pre-order bonus happened before all of this happened. 
And it would be a little bit different if they just showed it at SDCC here, right, with the figures and then put it up for pre-order bonus. But like I said, they already showed it at a previous convention with the SH Figure Arts figures. So to me, this means that if you wanted to buy this cool little piece, right, you would be able to buy this as a separate thing as a Tamashi Nation figure, right? But no. The only way that you can get this figure is by buying the $80 limited edition version of Dragon Ball The Breakers. Now, if you didn't want Dragon Ball The Breakers, or if you're not interested in it, and you still wanted to buy this figure, tough luck, Buttercup. You gotta buy the bundle for Dragon Ball The Breakers, right? Obviously, if you're the type of person who's interested in the game, and you just buy the limited edition anyway, you probably don't really care what's gonna be in the limited edition. You're just like, oh, extra goodies that I'm willing to shell out more, haha, <laughs> get it? More money for, right? So it's probably not that big of a deal to somebody like that. But for somebody who just wanted to purchase this figure, and especially everything else, you know, completely irrelevant, like not even wanting any of the other stuff, like let alone being just interested in the game, literally you can only purchase this by buying the limited edition version of the game. So, I am certainly not a fan of all of this. What this feels like to me is very anti-consumer friendly, right? This would be a little bit different if this was an exclusive statue that was made for this game, right? Or something like that, right? But no. It seems like that they're just reusing what they originally had planned to have be an SH Figure Arts figure, right? Because there is a little bit of articulation on this figure. It's not crazy, but you can see that there are some creases on the arms, it looks like, which kind of implies to me that maybe the arms would be able to swivel a little bit. Granted, it's not going to be a lot. Um, and I wouldn't even be surprised if on the final product that it couldn't and they just kept the seam lines there. But... This whole thing to me just screams that they had original plans for this figure and then they decided to include it as a Dragon Ball The Breakers pre-order bonus because it was easier than making a new figure or finding something else that they in could include as a pre-order bonus. Even if, it's the, if that's not true, it is extremely deceptive marketing to market this next to all of your SH Figure Arts figures. Literally having this in the Tamashi Nations area and booth for both of these conventions that this thing was shown off. So that's really everything that I have for you today. Please, please, please let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comment section below i would love to hear what you guys have to say do you think this is a big deal do you think that this doesn't really matter are you fed up with bandai's anti-consumer shenanigans please let me know in the comment section below again i apologize if you're watching this the day of no figure unboxing today but your boy could not be asked i am not in a good mood right now <laughs> Please let me know, though, for sure, in the comment section below. Let me know if you're going to be getting the game at all. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Dokkan Assets out. Peace. Oh, and by the way, just so I can say that it was in the video, I did check out the Bandai Namco official EU store. And yes, you can purchase the PC version of the game in the limited edition bundle. Granted, it is just a download code. You're not actually getting a physical disc, which, I mean, makes sense. Most PC games in the modern era wouldn't have a disc anyway. And you're getting the physical version for all these other things. But at least you can buy it on PC with the stupid limited edition on the EU store. And you can't buy it on the US store. Store!